Now, what's the theory behind LiRa? Well, research has shown that if you got any degradation in the cable, it's going to affect or influence its impedance. But you can't just measure the global or overall impedance because those changes are in the impedance are very, very small. And they're also spatially or distributed along the length of the cable. Hence, what we do with LiRa is we use something called frequency domain reflectometry. And when you use this kind of uh, FDR technology at very high frequencies, uh, then along with obviously the patented algorithms of the wire scan system, you can assess the changes in impedance as a function of the cable length. And when you can identify the changes in the impedance as a function of the length, you are able now to identify various defects and damages that may have occurred in the cable. Uh, let's talk about LiRa theory, which is nothing but transmission line theory. And what's a transmission line? Uh, that's defined as a radio frequency conductor, which is carrying currents whose frequencies are high enough such that the wavelength must be taken into account. Now, what is wavelength? It's nothing but the velocity at which a signal is being transmitted divided by the frequency of the signal. Now, if you have a situation where the cable length is less than the wavelength, then the impedance of the cable circuit is going to match the load impedance and there is thus no influence of the length on the behavior of the cable. However, if you have a situation where the cable length is equal to or longer than the wavelength of the cable, of the signal, now what happens is the circuit impedance will not match the load impedance. And this does actually occur when you're looking at a high enough frequencies as we'll see shortly. So as an example, if you have a signal which is uh, of 500 kilohertz, Wavelength, then the wavelength is going to be as long as 600 meters. Thus, if I'm doing some measurements at 500 kilohertz, then the shortest cable I can assess has to be 600 meters in length. Uh, on the other hand, if I'm doing some measurements with a signal injection of 100 megahertz, then the wavelength is only three meters. Thus, I can assess the condition of any cable longer than three meters with a higher frequency signal. And that's pretty much the concept of what LIDA is going to use, high frequency signal injection to assess the cable condition. Now what happens and why are we talking about all this uh, wavelength being a matter? Because when you have a situation where the circuit impedance is not matching the load impedance, now at certain frequencies, there's going to be a condition of resonance. And when resonance occurs, what happens is the changes in impedance are going to be amplified. And once the change in impedance is amplified, it's possible to use this to identify cable defects. How do we implement LiRa? Well, the LiRa hardware captures the signal and it measures the complex impedance of the cable over the entire frequency spectrum. Uh, when you plot that impedance vector, you essentially have three components, the frequency, uh, the real component, and the imaginary component. Now this signal is, this information is put into the LiRa software, which is now going to calculate both the impedance amplitude and the impedance phase. This information, uh, the amplitude and the phase of the signal is next plotted as a function of the frequency. And we'll see in the next screen what happens. So this is essentially the setup of the LiRa system simplified. Uh, what you have is the actual LiRa instrument and that's injecting low voltage, high frequency signals uh, between the conductor of the cable and the screen. When these high frequency signals are injected and the resonances occur, this is what you'd see on the in this graph out here. Essentially, you have the amplitude and the phase signals as a function of frequency. And you can see these very high peaks at certain frequencies. These are the resonances. And these resonant points will be used to assess the change in impedance. 
So what will LiRa do? It will give us three parameters. It will derive what is called a spot signature. And the spot signature is telling you the change in impedance as a function of the cable length. This is uh, where we're going to use you know, the impedance gain, as we call it, to assess each and every point on your cable. The second parameter we derive is the delta G. And this is a parameter similar to the tan delta uh, values which we traditionally measure and this is going to give you an idea about the overall degradation and aging of your cable and the third parameter we get with lyra is the bts or the balanced uh, termination signature which is an indication of what is the condition of your far end termination